Hi, uh, I'm doing a documentary on graffiti at my school. I just like to ask you a few questions. What do you think of graffiti in general? Um, well, it depends. Uh, there's a couple different types of graffiti. There's tagging, which uh, which is a nuisance. It destroys storefronts and the size of of our businesses within the division. Um, and there's uh, the mural work, which I think it looks great. I think it's phenomenal. You know, it beats, beats looking at plain bricks. Uh, if you saw a kid doing graffiti on the street, what do you think you would do about it? Uh, well, we would start with an investigation to find out what it is that, uh, that he's up to, whether uh, it's a mischief, and which is a criminal offense, or if he's been been uh, asked to do so by the store owner, then no problem. Yeah. Uh, did you ever think police and graffiti artists like this would work together? And um, you know what? Before I started in policing, I was I was I had no idea about about graffiti, and no, I probably, I probably didn't think that I'd be standing here today having a, a conversation with graffiti artists in Toronto. Um, yeah, I'm out of questions. I don't know. I asked him mostly everything. But thank you for, for everything. And yeah. Thanks for coming down today. Yeah, no problem. Toronto Blue Jays, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for talking to us, Molly. No problem. Thanks for the great artwork, Wells. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you for the inspiration, my friend. Scott Lewis. We'll get some other uh, the artwork on here that's being done. It's about $400 worth of Montana spray paint that's been spent today. Just if anybody's interested in uh, knowing how much this costs. There's also a lot of paint from uh, ICI. Deluxe Weather Guard Flat Black for primer. It was donated. Thanks a lot. Masks are a good thing. What an amazing character that is. Thanks, Humber College. Thanks a lot, Ting, for coming out today. Legal graffiti art, BMX bike ramps, community building, Toronto, Ontario, Canada.